Hi, my name is Sujin and I study computer science at University of Pennsylvania. Today, I wanted to take you guys through a day at the Penn Career Fair and also chat with you guys about what's it like doing a master's at UPenn, from applying for internships, going to classes, and doing some fun stuff in between the boring ones. Good morning. One of the things I look forward to the most here at Pan is going on morning runs with friends. It's honestly such a great icebreaker, you're doing something active together and it's a really fun way to get to know each other better. During one of the first orientation dinners, I just went around the table and asked if anyone wanted to go for a run with me. And just like that, I found a few people who were down. We started running together, and soon we were also chatting about classes and how we find some concepts difficult to understand. That turned into a little study support group, and it's been so helpful. School can definitely get tough sometimes, but studying with friends and having a group of friends around you makes such a big difference. Another feature that comes with morning run is that it naturally gives me a period of digital detox. From the moment I step outside to when I run and get ready for the day, I stay off my phone and avoid emails. It gives myself 2-3 to three uninterrupted hours to start the day focused on feeling good. This helps me to set the tone intentionally rather than letting external news or notifications dictate my mood. Today, um, aside from recitations, there's career fair going on on campus. And this one's general one, so it's for all majors. While next week we have more important ones for specifically for me, because it's for technology and engineering career fair, which um, a lot of the companies that will be hiring roles that's in tech field will come and recruit students. So I am not so sure how the recruitment process here in University of Pennsylvania is like. Each Ivy League school has has characters, right? I think Penn at least as far as my knowledge goes, is famous for work hard, play hard culture. For undergrad, not so much for grad, but I'm really happy that my cohort, the people in my program are very social and tonight we do have a beginning of the semester party at one of the second years, um, second years hosting, so at his place. And I think we are one of the program that goes against the stereotypical software engineers because everyone's so social and I have noticed that when I am focused on attaining my goals XYZ, um, I really want to shift my focus for that. I think it is needed sometimes that you put 110% of yourself on achieving one thing. So obviously this YouTube series and content creation is one of my greatest hobby and my passion. Uh, but it's hard to switch on and off from my time and energy that's spent on finding jobs, uh, studying for coding interviews, uh, preparing for interviews, and just getting the assignments done, and even getting back to this school system because I have been working for a year. So I'm slowly start starting to realize how to register properly, how to submit my assignment, things like that. So uh, that's why I haven't been able to film a lot, but I was. So how typically, works in the states for internship is um, people tend to have summer internships there are winter internships and in between semester internships a year long co-op or a lot of different ways but most well-known internships that students will take uh, are summer internships and for next year summer which is 2025 a year before i would graduate is one of the most important internship for undergrad students that will be a junior internship while for grad school students that that's only one summer that you get in between uh, the program so yeah that's one off opportunity but the internship application cycle starts a summer before so basically if i were to apply for next summer internship i need to start looking for now anyway i am rambling a bit too much what i need to do right now is i will be checking out the companies that i will be meeting in person career fair today i think it's a soft introduction for tomorrow next week's uh, career fair so i will go ahead and do that uh, i'll catch you guys on the other side all right i and on my way, I need to print out my resume before heading to the career fair. So we'll do that. 
and I'll see you guys later. It was so draining, so I went home and I was doing some work and then now I am going to socials at openings for my program. Um, it's right next to my apartment, so it's not too far away. So the party was at the outer rooftop area and then a couple of my friends and I went to a bar nearby. And by the time I reached home, my social battery was out for the week. The moments when I pull out the camera to film are usually the highlights of my week. Whether it's the beginning of the semester party or an event like the Korean Ships in Hanyonghae. These are breaks in between my studies where I get to step away from my one and only job being a student. But most of my days aren't on camera because, let's to be honest, no one wants to watch me sit for hours making weird faces while trying to figure out why register one's value isn't updating. So yeah, life lately has been a mix of testing out different libraries, figuring out where I can concentrate better, which ones aren't freezing cold from blasting AC, and reminding myself to be fully present during the moments when I'm away from the screen. Oh, <laughs> 